Hi boys and girls, I'm back. It's been about, oh, six, eighteen months since I last did a cooking video. And tonight I'm celebrating a little bit just because I'm going to have my first post published outside of my two blogs or one of my training colleagues' blogs. So it should actually get some real exposure, which is a big deal for me. Probably not so much for you. So to celebrate, we're going to have some uh, single-serving flatbread pizza. And every time I make these, I always post pictures on Twitter, and people always want to know how I make them. But it's really simple. You get some flatbread, however you want it, all organic or not. I don't, just because I'm somewhat of a hippie, but not really a hippie. So it looks like that. I'll just cut it along this edge. Then, like I said, if you want to be really hippie, you can get all organic pizza sauce. I get the, what's that thing that we all hate? Um, oh, look it. There isn't any high fructose corn syrup in here. I thought there was, but not. Anyways, ragu pizza sauce. Feel free to get whatever you want. I'm not very classy, so I go with the cheap stuff. for extra deliciousness I cut up some oh yeah I should get the list of this this is fresh basil wish I had more onions sweet peppers garlic cilantro shrimp lime for afterwards and the cheese is gonna be feta cheese and gorgonzola so anyways you got the sauce down then goes a little bit of garlic maybe you want a lot maybe you don't then the one thing that I said I was going to grab and I didn't grab was spinach, so hold on. We found it. It was hiding on the table. So some people pile this on, but since I've got so many vegetables, I'm really only going to make a small layer. Good enough for me. Then what am I going to put on? I suppose some onions. Again, you don't need to load all this stuff on there because I'll probably eat like four of, four of these individual pizzas. So not a big deal to load it down. See, it's already getting overflowing. Um, we'll go with shrimp next. That was also just pre-frozen, thawed, cut up. Oh, oven's ready. I'm falling behind. exciting stuff, isn't it? I always got people asking me how I made it, and basically I gave them the list of ingredients and they still didn't figure it out. I don't know what that says about the human race, but at least it gives me an excuse to make a video about it, right? That's what I thought. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do actually is put the herbs on once it comes out of the oven, just because they could get dry and crunchy, which would be gross. So. Once that comes out, I'll add the last two herbs and a little bit of lime. Here is the final product, all dressed up and fancy. You can see I added the last of the herbs. I would show you me eating it, but who wants to see that? I don't. So there you have it. Any questions, leave it down in the comments.